Hi YouTube, this is a pattern review for Vogue 1474. This is the, um, what the pattern looks like. And when I say I love this tunic, I love this tunic. It is the second tunic that, no, it's really the third because I did a, um, uh, prototype first because I wasn't sure about this knot and the directions for the knot look confusing um, just looking at it on paper look very confusing so therefore I wanted to do a dress in old material because I did not want to mess up the material I was going to use so um, but this dress what I love about the dress is the fit the fit is you wouldn't believe the fit. And when I did it on the prototype, I did not make the breast, the bust adjustment here. And it was a little high up here. So, but when I, I did it on, they had a spot on the pattern for lengthening. And so it was very easy. And I lengthened it about, I think, an inch and a half. And so it came down and it's right under where it should be. Also, the sleeve, my sleeve, I had to make another adjustment because although my wrists are here, here my arms are heavier. So therefore, I had to make a sleeve adjustment um, on the tissue paper. I put, um, I kind of put a line in the center, pulled it apart, uh, made a little dart, which worked. But I think it gave me a little too much um, to ease in on the sleeve but it looks good at, but I just think it gave me a little too much to ease on the sleeve you really can't notice it I just notice it but I love how this I got a I got some hand stuff to do I'm going to hand base this right here so because I can see a little of the raw edge there and I don't really want to see the raw edge but um I'm going to take out, I have some basing stitches here, I have the hand base set, and yeah, I have to hem it. <laughs> but if you can see, it has that body shape like this on both sides, and it falls down. And it could be a dress, but it's open here. When I hem it, I have to hem down here, and it's kind of open a little bit, you know. You could get away with work with some thick tights, you could probably get away, but I'll probably wear it with leggies um, and some short um, boots with the zip in the heel in the back. So, this pattern I love the fit of the pattern, I really do. It, I love how it lays, um, I love how. Um, just how it just it's it moves with you and I did it in another one and what's the time I'm gonna show you the other one that I did and this was the one that I did recently and this this is more of an everyday I think that one I might dress up more with that but I did it in this fabric you need a knit. You need. You really need a knit fabric if you're going to... I think it says knit on it, really. Because there's no zipper. And you need some stretch on it. So, yeah, this is the... More of an everyday. I could, you could wear this to work or whatever. I, the other one, I think, is more of a date night. Um... The fabric. I still have to hem and do some other stuff. But I will be working on hemming and doing my stuff today. But it this came out well too. I still have some basing stitches to take off of it. So, but this is... I'm glad... See, the neck isn't as nice as the other neck. I didn't... Um, I tried to follow more of directions of her neck. Which really... <laughs> I should have did the neck. I think the neck, um, I lengthened it a little bit so I could fold it. That was one of the adjustments I made on the pattern. Because the neck, it kind of needed more to fold 
over and to make look neater. It had a little bit. So when it kind of was very short, and I, I can see, because you have to put a um, a elastic, a small elastic band around a section of the neck, and they said a clear elastic. I ain't have a clear elastic. I've never had a clear elastic, and I didn't want to get a clear elastic, so I used the white. But when I did the second dress, I added some to that um pattern piece so I would have enough to fold over and cover completely it, this one didn't really cover completely but that's on the other side of the neck but I do I do like this and the sleeve has the sleeve I thought they could have done more with the sleeve because I have a dress that has those longer sleeves that, that might be too much on this but at least the I don't know at least to cut the sleeve here. I don't, if I do it again, I might do a little something different with the sleeve. But I don't think I've done it twice. Usually, I, I don't want to do. And and honey is like, oh, do that for every day. Do do ten of those. But I only really like to do two of the same style. And then I kind of want to move away and do something else. I don't want to have look in the claws and be um, who who was it? Wilma Flintstone or Jetson? One of them. And they got the same outfit. I, I don't really want to do that. So. Yeah, anyway, but this pattern, it the length is great. If you're if you're shorter, you might have to. Um, I'm I'm about five nine, and if you're shorter, you might have to actually make a few adjustments. The length, mm, I well, you know what I did add an inch and a half because of this, so that affects the length. So, but this is don't let the knot fool you. Don't. Um, it said on here it was average. Some of these average patterns are kind of easy. They're not that hard, especially it doesn't have a zipper. I think when it has a zipper, you have to kind of do a little bit more. But patterns that don't have zippers, they're not that. I don't. The only thing is the knot, and the knot was not that difficult if you can put it on a dressmaking form and kind of think about it. It really, and the directions were pretty good for the knot, I have to say. So... I love this pattern, and yes, I would make it again, but I already have two, so no, I won't make it again. I might make it for my sister who's tall, and she would look nice in something like this. If I make it again, it's going to be for um, my sister, probably, but not for me. Okay, bye.